Hi there, my name is Thomas and I'm a mountain guide at Oaza Alpen Center in Oberstdorf. Today I'll talk about what to pack for a multi-day hike. On long treks such as the E5 in the Alps, you should carefully plan what to bring along and what to leave at home. You will soon notice that the pack is getting heavier day by day. A backpack with a volume of 35 liters is definitely big enough. I recommend you don't bring more than 8 kilograms. Wear hiking boots that provide good ankle support and great grip. Functional hiking pants. A functional shirt and a jacket. Or a vest. This could be a soft shell, primer loft or fleece. Essential. Extra functional base layer, either synthetic or merino. Ideally, you pack a short and a long sleeve shirt as well as one or two pairs of underpants, so you can change into dry clothes. And don't forget functional socks. Weather and temperature can change very quickly in the mountains. It's a must to bring water and windproof, yet breathable, jacket and pants. Hat or headband, as well as light gloves, are also essential, because your head and extremities get cold fast. And when the sun comes out, it very quickly warms up. So, don't forget functional shorts. Another must-bring essential in the mountains. Sunscreen and lip balm with a UPF of at least 30. A cap, hat or buff will protect you from getting sunstroke. And pack fog-free sports sunglasses for eye protection. It's extremely important to drink plenty of water at a higher altitude. Bring at least one liter of magnesium or electrolyte-fueled hydration. It doesn't matter whether you use a bottle or a bladder. You can refill on tour. If you don't keep yourself hydrated, you'll not only have less energy, but it can also be dangerous for your health. Bring an energy bar, nuts or dried fruit to refuel fast during the hike. On guided tours, the mountain guides stop at huts that offer meals, so you don't have to bring food. For small emergencies, pack a first aid kit, including blister pads, your personal medications and maybe an aspirin as well. A small torch is also very useful when you have to go outside in the dark. You should keep your passport, money and credit card in a small plastic bag for water protection. And it's important that you bring cash, because a lot of huts don't take credit cards. Pack a sleeping bag liner for the night. And for body care, a wash bag with shower gel, toothbrush and paste, a travel towel, tissues and earplugs. There are always people snoring. Non-essential but useful gear. Trekking poles reduce the impact on your joints and are a great balance aid. But not everybody likes hiking with trekking poles. It's a matter of personal taste. But note, the poles have to come with a telescope construction, so you can tie them to your backpack and they won't restrict you when not needed. Also very useful is a small knife. For a really comfy and cozy night in the hut, you can bring lightweight pants, a t-shirt and slippers. You might get slippers in the hut, but they often only have a limited amount and you might end up barefooted. I also recommend a transparent plastic bag for wet laundry or garbage. If you set out on a tour without a mountain guide, you also have to pack a map and a guidebook, a compass and a GPS, a bivy bag, a headlamp and of course your mobile phone for emergencies. Continuous rain can be very annoying and uncomfortable, even when you're well covered up in waterproof shells. I therefore recommend you pack an umbrella. Of course, that does mean extra weight, but it can turn into a very welcome extra protection. Less on the back, but all the essentials on board. 
With an overall weight of 8 kilograms, including the backpack, and a capacity of 35 liters, you are perfectly prepared for your multi-day trek. You can download the packing list here and check out the videos on how to properly pack and adjust your backpack.